Is my share screen audible? Visible? Yes, visible. Okay, you can start. Okay, thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from group three, and we will explain about translation procedure. I am Nurul Misaptia Shahrir, and my friend Khalifa Fitri Rodia. Translation procedure is a technique or method used during translation during the translation process at the level of word, phrases, and sentences. Pinay and Darbelnet in Mundai, 2001, 56-58, divide translation into two, namely direct translation and indirect translation, or direct translation and oblique translation. In direct translation, uh, there is three. One, the first is borrowing. Borrowing is the simple method. The translator will only rewrite the source language terms into the translated language without making any modification. This method is used in order to bring the atmosphere of the source language to the target language and overcome the absence of the same terms in the target language. Uh, this method is also carried out because of differences in the environment, culture, or way of life between the users of the source language and the users of the target language. The second is calc. calc is similar to the borrowing method, but there is a translation process. Foreign terms that do not have in the target language are then translated into parts. The translation term will later become part of the target language. And the third is literal translation. This method tries to interpret every word in the source language sentence and adapt it to the rules of the target language. If with this method the meaning has been conveyed, the translator's task has been completed. If the meaning has not been conveyed, it is necessary to apply other methods. And next will be explained by Khalifa Fitri Rodia. Okay, I'm thank you. Yours. Thank you, Nur Ilmi Setia Shahrir. The next, there is uh, indirect translation. In the, 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 in, the, in the direct translation, there is four method. The first is transposition. This method is done by changing one language level to another. For example, from word to phrase uh, or even to sentence. Compound sentence can also be translated into simple sentences or two simple sentences can be translated into a compound sentence. The second is modulation. The modulation method is a point of view shift method. Shifting the point of view of meaning can be in the form of changing active sentences into passive ones, negative meanings into positive ones, and vice versa. For example, the word sick is translated into unhealthy. The next, there is match. The equivalence method is a method that modifies words from the source language so that they are in a accordance with the rules of the target language. For example, the word mod modification, which is translated into modification. Or, fi or fiction, which is translated into fiction. Uh, and the last, there is adaptation. The adaptation method is the most extreme method. 
Uh, this method is performed if the source language is not found in the target language. For example, the concept of living together before marriage, which is similar to kumpul kebo, but can be translated into the concept of family. Uh, I think that's enough from our group. If you have a mistake, please forgive us. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you.